This is Banjo, and today I'm going over how to create simple cinematics in-game for your missions in Arma 3. The first step will be to set up the mission so that any AI you want in the cinematic will be acting out their waypoints or attacking other enemy troops. In this case, I have a blue 4 unit ambushing a CSAT patrol. The next step is to place down any object to use as the camera. In this case, I'm using a game logic and enter into the initialization field this exec camera.sqs. This will turn the unit into the camera position we need to create the cinematic. Now move the game logic onto the position you want the camera to spawn in and preview the mission. In game you'll spawn as a camera. Move the camera into the position you want the first scene taken from and left click to copy the scene information to the clipboard. Controls for the movement of the camera can be found in the video description. With the camera data copied to clipboard, open up notepad and paste the data. We have five lines that are added, the first being a comment section, in this case we can see first scene. The second line is the target, in this case it's position data, but you can also use the name of a unit or a position or a marker. So in this case, Man 2, which is the CSAT Rifleman Leader. The third line contains camera position data, which is the position of the camera itself. The fourth line is the zoom factor of the camera, with lower values being a higher magnification. And the fifth value will be used to transition the camera between two locations. We'll be using this later on in the camera script. Opening up the scene example script that I've provided, we're able to see that we have scene data for all of our scenes, and we also have an intro slash camera creation block. Here we have title cut black in. This will create a fade in from black effect. Next we have cam create command. This will actually create the camera itself. Since we'll be deleting the game logic we're collecting camera data with before we finish the mission, we'll need to copy this first block into our scene.sqs script in order to create the camera. Simply add it to the very start of your scene script and it'll create a fade in from black and create the camera effect once the script is called. In game, to get your second scene, move the camera to the position you want, aim it out what you want, set your FOV, and left click to copy the data to clipboard and alt tab back to the camera script. Separate the camera data with a sleep command which is tilt the key plus the delay and add your second scene data. Name the comment, set the target, set position and FOV factors as required. In the second block of camera data, which is the end of our first scene, I'll be using the cam commit prepared option to add a delay of 4 seconds where it transitions from one position to the other. In this example, it's going to hold for 3 seconds at the first scene, and then it's going to start transitioning for 4 seconds to the second scene. This 7 second delay is included in that, so as it completes that, it'll hold for 3 more seconds at the second scene before moving on to the next block of camera data. In this case, I'll be adding a fade transition. In the included example script, I've provided a screen transition, so copying and pasting this into our next block, we can see a title cut black out, so it'll fade to black, wait there for a second, and then fade black in over 2 seconds. This will add us a 5 second screen transition between scenes. As you complete more of the script, you're going to want to test it in game. To do this, simply delete the game logic used as camera and execute the script file containing the camera data. Once you're finished adding camera data to your camera script, it's time to execute the command to terminate the camera itself. Copy this final block from the provided example script into the end of your scene.sqs script file. The command destroys the camera we created earlier at the start of the script and fades in from black over two seconds. We can now preview the script in game. The example mission and the script 
are both included in the video description.